Greetings dear friends, Dragon here once again. If it's your first time stumbling onto my channel, then do please consider joining us here and clicking that red button and subscribing. That would be much appreciated. Okay, another unboxing today. I know, deja vu. Um, this time back to Korean cinema and getting into The Spectacular Believer, uh, directed by Lee hae Young, starring Cho jin Woon and Ryu jun Yul. A pretty incredible remake of Johnny Toe's Drug Wars, which I actually kind of prefer to Johnny Toe's original, uh, largely because of how beautifully this film shot. It looks absolutely incredible. Cinematography is first rate. Action sequences really well staged. Just really beautifully composed, really beautifully put together. Cinematography, I believe, was by Kim tae Kyung, not to be confused with the director of Volcano High. I believe they confusingly both had the same name. But uh, cinematographer Kim tae Kyung absolutely excels. Really beautifully put together and beautifully looking movie. Um, astoundingly composed. So this is the Plain Archive Final Collector's Edition. It's a 4K and Blu-ray steelbook combo uh, through Plain Archive uh, number 47 and I think limited to 1,250. Region A locked. Because uh, I ordered direct from Plain Archive you get a few extra goodies. And so I have this really nice, quite well printed Believer kind of promo card. Ever so slight debossing there to catch the devil, trust the sinner. She's got two copies, so we have shiny on one side, matte on the other, and with this kind of foil accents. Pretty damn cool. And then we get our plain archive sticker, which apparently more of a big deal than I realised to kind of get these little things. If you order direct from plain archive, they send you a duplicate of the sticker. You do usually get another copy on the on the case, as you see here on the top. Um, but this is kind of a separate one that you can do what you wish with and then a signed card. I'm not entirely sure who it's been signed by. Um, I need to try and work out. Any Korean speaking friends do please let me know. Um, I'm assuming it's somebody connected to the production and that's a sort of separate artwork on card. But without any more rambling, let's get into the box itself because it's a pretty nice version. There's a couple of different options for this. I think you'll still find on Plain Archive's site. You can get this full box set. Um, there's also a full slip version of the, of the steelbook and you can get the steelbook on its own or you can get like a, a reduced price combo set of all three together. I opted to just get the fancy box uh, but I do quite like the artwork that is on the full slip version but I kind of wanted the extra goodies that come inside this. So we get our full outer slip, pretty substantial well produced, a really beautiful artwork around the side with our two principal leads. Really nice. And then inside we have our steelbook separately wrapped, again with To Catch the Devil, Trust the Sinner, and a big line of drugs. And then our cast assembled on the front. Really, really nice. A knife back from that, because it's pretty well sealed. Of plain archives, but this is my first plain archive still. I think it's a multi disc one. Let's see inside. Really nice, kind of spot glossing on the cast there. And then this sort of foil on the back. Pretty well put together. And inside we have our four discs. So we have our extended cut on Blu ray. We have behind the scenes on Blu ray. We have the theatrical cut and Blu-ray, and then last but not least, we have the 4K, which is also the theatrical cut, so you only get the extended cut on Blu-ray disc. But really nicely put together steel. Then we have our storybook book, a screenplay and essays. So again, I suspect if this is like the other plain archive books that I've seen, it might be dual language, but let's see. Yep, it is. So you get basically the essay in Korean and then in English. English friend release. Not too sure about the on disc extras. I'll let you know once I've had a chance to check through the set. Very cool series of images. Really beautifully printed. Very nice. So that's our essay book. We have our screenplay which is in just in Korean. So one for me to learn Korean to check out. Still really nice. A dog image on the front. And then lastly, we get a pretty mighty storyboard book. I really like these, even though they tend to be usually in Korean language, but I really like kind of seeing 
the breakdown of the different sequences, how they were kind of pre-staged or how they intended it to be, and then you can kind of compare and see how it's worked out in the final edit. But quite nicely composed, quite nicely put together. Little storyboards for the entire movie. If it's a film that you've not seen, I heartily recommend tracking it down. I'm sure it'll be available on one of the streaming services. I haven't checked Netflix because I don't have it, but if uh, if anyone does, you can check and see if it's up there. But a pretty incredible movie, one of the fastest grossing Korean movies of the last few years. Uh, I can't remember if I said the year, but it was made in 2018. But really, uh, one of my favourite Korean movies that I've seen over the last couple of years. Um, so um, I pushed out the boat to get, get the fancy version um, and also my first time ordering from Plain Archive but absolutely no issues, came through pretty quick, full tracking info for the whole journey uh, no customs charges at all coming into the UK because it was well under 120 quid which I believe is the point that they normally will start to charge for importing um, in a post-Brexit world so yeah, no problems at all with getting it across um, I would definitely, definitely order from Plain Archive again, have my eye on a few other bits and pieces. But you can also find this on the UK Palo site, so if you wanted to stack a few orders together to kind of make your, your shipping price a little bit more reasonable, then you can easily find this on UK Palo too, along with a whole bunch of non-Plain Archive stuff as well. So whichever one uh, you go with, uh, you pick your poison. But that is it for today. I will do a full review of the movie once I've had a chance to check out all the, the extras that are on the discs. I suspect they're not going to be English friendly, uh, which uh, the most important thing is the fact that it has English subs. So yeah, region A locked, English friendly in terms of the movie with English subs and some of the printed materials. I think if you get the full slip version, you get the the essay book um, and the steel book in the full slip. Um, but if you uh, get the steel book on its own, you just get the steel book and you just get the movies. That is it. Thank you very, very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.